After a Twiggs County family found a nearly 10 foot alligator at their home, we're taking a look at what you can do to stay safe if you ever stumble upon a gator. Sabrina Burr spoke to the Department of Natural Resources to pick up a few do's and don'ts. The Tweaks County Sheriff's Office posted photos of a large alligator found at a family's home on Facebook. A local alligator trapper in the area helped capture it. As a cold-blooded reptile, they move more during warm months. And, I mean, we get calls from making and want to rob it. Sometimes they'll get to the city or, you know, drainage dishes and such. So it's not always more rural. Bobby Bond with the Department of Natural Resources says to avoid feeding the animal. If it ever gets habituated to receiving food from humans, then that gator, there's nothing you can do with that alligator. That alligator is going to have to be removed. He suggests people keep their distance, never disturb nests or small gators, and don't corner the animal because it can make them feel threatened. Well, they can travel land very easily, and research has shown that if you don't relocate them 10 miles away, they'll come back within 10 miles, no problem. In Twiggs County, Sabrina Burst, 13 WMAZ News. Bond says the hunting season for alligators starts in late summer.